that are, are liberated at the time of volcanoes and depending on the viscosity <coughs> of the lava volcanoes are characterized into different types the first one is conical or central type the best example is fujiyama in japan and mount vesuvius in italy and in this volcanic type <coughs> the volcano flows out of a vent and it gets cooled around this vent giving rise to a cone like structure we can see here a cone like structure and this uh, this kind of a volcano is called as conical or central type volcano and in this volcano the magma that flows out is viscous acidic and silicate now, and viscous simply means that uh, any liquid which is high in viscosity is very uh, denser and it doesn't uh, flow freely for example water is less viscous and it flows very freely whereas honey it is more viscous and it flows very slowly that is lava coming out of this kind of uh, volcanoes is has high viscosity thus it doesn't flow uh, towards uh, far regions and ends up uh, solidifying at the very opening of the volcano the next kind is shield type volcano in which uh, the lava doesn't uh, explode it just flows out very smoothly and this lava is very less viscous and less acidic and less silicate thus less viscous simply means that it flows nearly uh, just uh, similar to water that is it travels long distances and gives uh, uh, ends up cooling uh, far, uh, at places far away from the volcano thus giving rise to various landforms long distances and gives uh, uh, ends up cooling uh, far, uh, at places far away from the volcano thus giving rise to various landforms like plateaus and one example for this kind of volcano is uh, Munalau in uh, Hawaii that is America uh, the other volcanic type is called fissure type in which very thin magma flows through fissures and cracks for example Deccan traps were formed due to this kind of volcanic eruptions and these are not eruptions actually because the volcano simply flows very silently and spreads uh, towards various uh, lengths and breadths giving rise to a layered undulating flat surface like plateaus and we are, I have already said that Deccan traps is the best example, uh, example for this kind of volcanic origin and another volcanic landform is called caldera lake where an uh, inactive volcano's uh, cone like carter uh, is filled with water as this remains inactive for long years uh, due to rains and all this carter gets filled with water and this uh, appears to be a lake uh, one example is lonar in maharashtra and karkatavo in indonesia and karkatavo is also known to be the loudest to volcanic eruptions uh, in the in the history and volcanoes gives rise to various uh, uh, kind of shapes and substances when this kind of lava or magma coming out cools within the surface or above the surface and these are called as lacolith and then batholith dike and still these are the major parts of these uh, volcanic uh, kind of landforms this is mainly an intrusive activity that is this happens within the earth's surface most of it is not observed above the earth these kind of uh, shapes or uh, volcanic uh, shapes which are formed due to cooling of magma uh, mostly occur within the surface and the first example is batholith where um, an amount a mass of ma magma just cools well below the earth surface giving rise to a huge mass of uh, a rock this is called as batholith and their core of huge mountains that is huge mountains settle on these kind of uh, uh, rocks which are uh, cooled deeper inside the earth and the next one is lacolith where magma rise view size rise, uh, rises to certain level and forms uh, an umbrella shaped uh, structure and this is called as lacolith and when magma cools vertically then such uh, sub, uh, such rock is called as dike and if it cools horizontally like here it is called as sill and also hot volcanoes give rise to hot water springs geysers etc